The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Welcome to Real Agriculture's Wheat School series. I'm Kara Oosterhouse. In this episode, I talked to Tom Wolf of Agrometrics at Canola Palooza in Lacombe, Alberta. Tom and I talk about some of the benefits, some of the drawbacks, and some of the concerns you may have when spraying into a wet wheat canopy. Well, we're at the booth uh, that talks about sprayer clean-out and spray drift and other spray issues uh, at Canola Palooza. So can you tell me about the question you've been getting a lot lately? Yeah, this morning, uh, a very common question is, the, we want to spray this morning, but the canopy's wet. Should we go? And what is your answer to that? Uh, it's a good question, and uh, it's a complicated answer, unfortunately. But I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through the way we've approached it. The concern is obviously that the spray hits the wet canopy, and maybe it'll roll off because the canopy's that wet that it induces runoff. And that can happen because our sprays typically con- uh, contain surfactants. And those surfactants can then lower the surface tension of the dew and that causes runoff. So we may lose some of that product. Uh, The other thing that can happen is the spray might be so coarse that the big droplets actually create some momentum and actually also create that, that runoff. So we're due to lose possibly some proportion of that spray. So we've gone to the lab and we've measured the losses. And we found that under some conditions we've lost maybe 30% of the dosage because we sprayed onto a super wet canopy. But we also took it to, uh, to efficacy and found that there was no noticeable loss of efficacy. So the, the story really is that it's possible that the wetness of the canopy actually also helps uptake in some way because it hydrates the cuticle. So maybe they're counteracting effects. So when you're talking wetness in the ca- canopy, what kind of weather conditions are you talking about? Yeah, that's a good question because usually we're talking about a dew, aren't we? And dews occur on clear nights. And the coldest time of day is usually sunrise. So that's when the dew is going to be at its maximum. And uh, the the reason I mentioned the the clear nights is because clear nights is also when we have inversions. So it's actually a very good idea to not spray in the early morning just after sunrise for two reasons. The wetness of the canopy and the inversion. Now, waiting a couple of hours, maybe a couple of degrees temperature rise on your thermometer will burn off the inversion or at least begin to and secondly evaporate some of that excess moisture off the canopy and then it's usually a green light the canopy will still be wet but it'll be less wet and you're good to go okay awesome anything else you'd like to add uh you know i would say uh some guys would uh maybe do a little self-test what they might have is a spritzer bottle uh, that contains the active ingredient or the tank mix and they may just want to spritz it onto the canopy to see this if the surfactant actually induces runoff and make a decision uh, that way could be helpful. Okay, great, thank you. Thank you.